Hello cookbook friends and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about Robota. This is a Japanese home grilling cookbook. I just saw this at the library and I was like, hey, that's cool. So uh, I don't have, I mean, I guess I have a grill, but I'm trying to find different kinds of cookbooks for grilling that's more than burgers because we go camping a lot. So I was like, let's try to find some other ones from all around the world. So this is perfect. Here's just a little preview of what this cookbook looks like up close or just a little flip through. There's more than just grilling in here. There's some side dishes as well, but you do notice there's a lot of grilling recipes. Lots of fish, which is really cool. I have a friend who does fish uh, throughout the season, so it'd be really cool to kind of learn how to cook freshly caught fish and you know do it in different kinds of styles. So here we will begin with our table of contents. There is grilling techniques. So this is a very technical book, just so you're aware. It's not just recipe driven. Here is our table of contents. We have an introduction, introduce, introducing like what Robota is, fish, other Robota, classic, classic yakitori, other skewers, nibbles, etc., And of course, desserts and drinks. So here we have a history of Robota. What does that look like? I've actually, this is pretty common, um, I don't, if you're unfamiliar with some, like, uh, I watch a lot of Japanese camping influencers on TikTok, and they do have these really cool portable grills or, like, grates that you could put over a fire, and that's super cool. Um, here we have different charcoal, how to cook, what this all means, and how this actually cooks your food. Different tools you can take with you, so if you do camp, there's something you can take with you, or if you just want to have this at home key Japanese ingredients, so lots of cool stuff here, including wasabi is uh, for a kake, pickled ginger bonita flakes. I love this. This is so cool. So not only do you get a whole display of them, here's all of the names for every associated dish here, which is cool. And then here we have how to do these things in a, a sustainable way, so like sourcing salmon, um, marinade, sake, uh, even like how different kinds of fish, seasons, etc. Here we go. Fish robata. And I apologize if I'm saying that incorrectly. I saw somebody say robata as a pronunciation, but I could be totally wrong here. All right. So uh, here we have a whole uh, tabletop view and we have the names and page numbers of where you can find these, which is very nice. So if you're like, hey, that looks really good. You can actually look it up in the cookbook. So it's a teriyaki mackerel and it's on page, etc. All right. So that's kind of nice. It saves paper too when you get a whole table spread like that. Here is some pictures of what you can make. And we even have some, not step by step photos, but some photos showcasing a few things. So here's some of the important bits. Here is our uh, ingredients and everything is in um, metric and US, it looks like, it depends if it needs to be weighed or not. Here's our directions, pretty straightforward cookbook here. Not, It's not labeled one through five or whatever for directions, but it's still pretty easy to follow. Here we have a lemon sole with Sancho, pe Sancho pepper and squash kimchi, yum, love that. A Chilean sea bass with choy sum or some and onion relish. That looks beautiful. That would be just, this would be super special even when you are camping. Like sometimes I feel like I make boring food like a hot dog or something and I'm like, I want something else. So this actually looks masterful to me. Smoked and roboted salmon belly. Delicious with just simple rice with furikake. Here's a lemon salmon, delicious. Classic flavors here, as you can see. Different ways of grilling. Salmon smoked on yuzu leaves. So that's the end result. Here we have shellfish, which is very cool. I've never grilled shellfish, so this would be a really special thing to try. Giant scallop sake poached in shell. So that's the process. Seared scallops on quinoa and brown seeded rice. That looks beautiful too. Lobster with yuzu drizzle. Let's look at a few more of these seafood dishes. Oh no, we are now actually in others. I spoke too soon. So we are now in other meats. Uh, so we have chicken, 
I think we have some beef. We have different salads, potatoes. So this is a whole miso marinated baby chicken. That'd be great if you do have a family and you guys can all have different parts of the chicken. Chicken drumlets with coriander or cilantro pesto dipping sauce, delicious. You can make the dipping sauce ahead of time if you are going camping. I'm only saying camping because like we're now in spring and it's basically, for us, it's definitely camping season starting up. So I'm trying to find fun ways of taking food with me. I'm, I'm a foodie through and through, so it's hard. I need to go beyond some of the basic camping dishes I grew up with and then advance them with something more fun, I think, so I can be encouraged to go camping more. We have a teriyaki duck with asparagus pickles. Look at that, super pretty. I'll try to give you a few more close-ups here. Here's some more with that grill. Beautiful grilled green onions like that, so tasty. Uh, butterfly red miso lamb, look at that. That would be a fantastic meal and only a part of it. Somebody else can bring some sides and then you can enjoy th all of these things together and create kind of like this big potluck sort of thing. We have a beef ta tataki, which looks amazing, delicious. Porterhouse steak with uni butter, yum. Uh, in the back here, so, he sorry, not the back. Here, like we have this big table setting with all of the different recipes and you can kind of see the labels here with all the names then on the following pages here is where everything is located so you can actually create a giant table setting like this for at home and have everything done for you as far as meal prepping which is perfect if you are super busy but you're like hey it's a sunny day I'm on a grill or something like that all right so here we have bacon wrapped ribotta lollies we're going to move on to some, I think these are other skewer dishes. I need to personally buy some skewers. I have the wooden ones, but sometimes they just don't work as well. These look awesome. So many different kinds of skewered items here. Uh, we have a ribeye with wasabi, asparagus wrapped in beef, baby turnips with miso salt, so many things. So here is a, a faux unagi herring kebab. Kabayaki style. Yum. I'm trying to see what it's actually made with. Oh, it is herring. Okay. Sardines, Japanese style. Delicious. Here is some more pictures. So, octopus. I know some people are probably like, oh, no. But I love octopus. Uh, duck breasts with coffee sauce. I don't think I've ever had a coffee sauce before. Asparagus nanban, that looks stunning. And we are still in skewers, by the way. Now we're going into nibbles, so extra sides, so things that maybe you don't necessarily have to grill. Um, so for instance, we have a shishito pepper dish right here, um, a lotus crisp with fresh crab terra masalata right here. So let's go and move on here. Some more table settings. Great nibbles for before you have a big, big grill. Oh, here. Here's some more. But then we have salads and sides as its own chapter, which is kind of nice. A buckwheat pop, a papaya and tofu salad. Herb cured tofu on so soba noodles. That looks really pretty. Ooh, what? This is a seaweed salad with smooth wasabi dashi dressing and green beans and sugar snap peas and miso, or mustard miso. Wow. And then we'll do a few desserts in here and drinks. This is a, oh no, this isn't dessert. This is a kambu cured mackerel with muli or daikon and zucchini. Let's find some desserts and drinks before we end this video we have a drunken pineapple i love grilled fruit it's just so good you can do a grilled stone fruit with miso ice cream you can actually learn how to make your own miso ice cream which would be amazing a toasted bin bincho dust marshmallows and then some drinks let's see if i can find at least one drink for y'all well here's a whole bunch so for instance we have a camp or kombu sour bincho. Bean Cho on the Rocks, 
Canton Hibiscus Tea Royale and Lotus Blossom Martini with Lotus Root Caramel. Wow. This cookbook is really cool. So if you want to learn how to cook Robita style, I highly recommend this cookbook. There's a lot of great information, especially in the front that you can learn from and get to it, like learn how to do some really cool traditional Japanese dishes as well. If you're looking for some other grilling or Japanese cookbooks, we do have a few playlists you can find over on YouTube. Uh, and if you are looking for some more cookbooks, you can follow us on our socials at Cookbook Divas. Those are listed in the description down below. If you are looking for a cookbook, make sure to comment, follow, subscribe. Let us know what you are looking for and we'll try to get it for you. Thanks so much.